Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is Monica Manoj greeting you from Canaan Church, Chennai, South India. Welcome to our daily insights. And the topic for today's devotion is God of the broken hearted. Psalm chapter 34 verse 18 says so. The Lord is close to the broken hearted and saves those who are crushed in the spirit says God's word. What do you do when you feel let down and lonely? When you feel most of them are isolating themselves due to your incompetency, inability or your inefficacy. The loser attitude would have started to settle in and you could be in for a long bout of inertia in soul, spirit and life. These inactive seasons could turn out to be the ones that could ruin your aspirations to achieve in life. What do you do when you really know not what to do to bring about the change in you? Or sometimes when you do not think you need change because you feel so secure even in your seclusion. But beware of such a state. Your sense of discouragement over your own self-esteem and self-worth can lead you deeper into your depression and finally decay. If you are crushed, rejected, feel totally broken beyond repair, turn to God alone. Please share your failures, disappointments, the wounds of dejection and fear of depletion to God even when your wound is fresh and painful. Express yourself in His presence when you can still feel for your forlorn state and wish to do something about it with the help of God. When you delay in reaching out for help, there is always the evil one who comes in without being called. So, call on the sovereign God of Israel before Satan could invade your senses and numb you of the feeling of pain. According to Satan, to sedate you is easier than to silence you. When you are just into your disappointment, when you realize your mind is being attacked, when your heart tells you it is not okay to lie useless for long, please rise up and kneel down and just say, God, I need you. Please redeem me from the clutches of barrenness and the wilderness state that I am in. God of mercy, please redeem me from going deeper into the pit of hopelessness. God did not allow Joseph to remain long in the pit. He sent rescue and made him undertake a journey into the fearful and known. But nevertheless, he trusted God whom he knew and God tested him before he lifted him. So dear friends, even if it's going to be a humble journey to begin with, let's dare to move on instead of hoping and waiting for a grand opening. Humble beginnings will one day lead to glorious paths. The term follow is not for a believer who believes in this verse, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. God will not lay you off for long if you are always upbeat and longing to activate your faith. Don't let the big bad bullies browbeat you to silence and slavery. Don't let the disease diagnosis drag you sooner to death through depression than the disease itself. Don't let your discouragement steer your wheel. Just because your zeal to travel has ended, the road has not ended. There are still miles to go to touch your destiny. Don't just take a break from your depression, rather break up totally, be set free from the bondage of being insensitive to your broken crushed state. Strive for healing and grace. We have a great and an awesome God who is near and here to set you free and make you break forth into a run for a plunder. Shall we pray? Dear Lord, thank you for this blessed day. Thank you for we feel your presence when we really need it as you have given us wonderful words that says you are close to the broken hearted. We draw closer to you even as few of our friends could be moving away from us. But we desire your relationship and do enable us to remain true and faithful to you. In Jesus name we ask, Amen. Feeling God close even through the distance to my destiny. Signing off from you, this is Monica Monoj. If you wish to know more about our church, please do log on to www.kananchurch.in. God bless you.